viewers, thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem. And uh, we have 2 raised to power a minus 2 raised to power b equals to 120. Here we can see that 2 raised to power a is greater than 2 raised to power b. We also have a positive number here. That means the first number is greater than the second number. And in the same way, we can see we have the same base here. It implies that A here is greater than B. And if A is greater than B, we can say that A will be equal to B plus a certain number. We are the three number A, B, and C are member of natural number. So therefore, we can replace A with B plus C and rewrite what we are given as 2 raised to power B plus C, then minus 2 raised to power B will be equal to 120. And uh, from here, we can separate it as well, following law of indices, and say this will be 2 raised to power B times 2 raised to power c minus 2 raised to power b then also times 1 here because it's only 2 raised to power b we have so times 1 equals to 120 and from here we can bring 2 raised to power b out factor it out so that we have 2 raised to power b out remain 2 raised to power c here then remain minus 1 here then equals to 120. Then let us break this 120 so that we have something like base 2 as well there. And when we write, when we divide through by the prime numbers, the 2, 2 can go here so that we break 120 down and we have 2 can go that 60. Also 2 goes again, that's 30. 2 goes again. That will give us 15. And 2 can go again, so we stop there. So we have 15 left here. And we have so this 3 now, when we bring it together, that's 1, 2, 3. We can see that's 2 raised to power 3, then times 15. So 120 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 3 times 15. And from there, that means we can write this again and say this is 2 raised to power b multiplied by 2 raised to power c minus 1. We now be equal to 2 raised to power 3 times 15. And from there now, we can equate this one. These two multiplies on this side and these two multiply. We can say 2 raised to power b here is equal to 2 raised to power 3 on this side. And also we can say 2 raised to power c minus 1 is equal to 15. At this we equate the number respectively and from there the same base here our b here is 3 which is one of the solution there b is 3 and from here we can get c as well by taking minus 1 to this side and 2 raised to power c now equals to 15 plus 1 now when minus come there then from there we have 2 raised to power c equals to 16 16 can be expressed in this 2 as well so that we have 2 raised to power c equals to 2 raised to power 4 and our c here from here will be equals to 4 and don't forget that our a is b plus c from what we have our a equals to b plus c from here then we can say that our a now will now be equals to since we've gotten our b and c so a will then be equals to b plus c which is 3 plus 4 therefore a equals to 7 so we have the value of a and b already now we can check from the problem whether we have answer that satisfy the problem so we have 2 raised to power a minus 2 raised to power b equals to 120 then let's substitute our a and b. So we have 2 raised to power 7 now. 
minus 2 raised to the power 3 is this one equals to 120 now let's check from here 2 raised to the power 7 we can work it and say this is 2 raised to the power 3 plus 4 minus 2 raised to the power 3 and uh, this is 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 4 minus 2 raised to the power 3 2 raised to the power 3 we can get that that's it then times 2 raised to the power 4 that's 16 then minus 8 8 times 16 give us 128 so we can see from here that we have 8 times 16 that's 128 then minus 8 which is equal to 120 and uh, this statement is now correct that means we have 120 on the left and 120 on the right that satisfies the problem therefore the value of a is 7 and b is 3 thank you for joining us subscribe to this channel for more videos see you in the next class and bye for now